Duchess of York Sarah Ferguson appeared on Loose Women earlier today, Wednesday, April 5, to promote her latest historical romance novel A Most Intriguing Lady. Of course, the ITV panelists couldn't have the 63-year-old on the show without talking more in depth about some of the more traumatic experiences of her life. This is when the ex-wife of Prince Andrew opened up about how she thinks her issues with food and subsequent eating disorders began. Sarah Ferguson's dramatic life started long before she got involved with Prince Andrew who she divorced in 1996. Her parents Ronald Ferguson and Susan Wright married exactly four decades prior but also divorced 18 years later in 1974. Fergie's mum Susan chose to elope in the early 1970s with Argentina and polo player Hector Barantes to his home country which caused quite a stir in social circles. The royal sister also moved to Australia and Fergie, who was just 12 years old at the time, was left to live with her dad in the UK. Dickinson's real deal expert Cheryl Hakeney quits after 14 years opening up to loose women, Fergie explained she thinks it was this abandonment which kick-started her mental health issues. I think it's so important I can sit here now, very authentic, because I have really pushed them, she said. And I think it started when mum went to live in Argentina and it was 1970 or something and I was 12. So I must be worthless for my mom to leave and of course I must be, so that's when I started eating. And I had an eating disorder then and I pushed on the pounds. Fergie continued, I think it's always there, I do have body dysmorphic disorder, even now I think. It's important to say it. We're human and we just need to be real. That is all we need to be, I'm in pain, I'm not perfect, I got it wrong, this is who I am. And it's because I've done mental therapy, mental health issues, I've talked very openly about it and am really proud of that journey, which is why I like writing. Don't miss. Sarah Ferguson details vow to Queen before she died to stand by Andrew, explainer. Father Brown season 11 confirmed with unpredictable mysteries, update, Americans aghast Kate may not wear Diara at coronation, expert, royal, Fergie's mum died in a horrific car accident in September 1998, just over one year after her friend Princess Diana was also killed in a car crash. Susan, aged 61 was driving with her nephew outside the town of Tres Lomas in Argentina when her Land Rover hit a van on a highway. She was reportedly not wearing a seatbelt at the time and while her nephew survived the incident, Susan was killed instantly. The Duchess of York ended a holiday in Italy to fly home to the UK after finding out what happened. In 2015, Fergie wrote a heartfelt letter for her mum, telling her that she missed and forgave her for leaving her to be with her second husband Hector who died of cancer in 1990. She wrote, I look back now and thank you, forgive you, and love you more. You gave me the strength to look at life differently. I am convinced I would never be the strong person I am inwardly had I not had to come to terms with a sense of abandonment. I wish for you to be looking over my shoulder right now, and realize that you gave me empathy, which holds me in steadfastness and an understanding of belief in myself. I do forgive you completely.